we're going to use long division to find the quotient. We have a four-digit number divided by a two-digit number. The first step is to write the quotient in this form here so we can perform long division. We can write this as 2,110 divided by 62. To begin performing long division, we start with only considering the leftmost digit of the dividend, which is this 2. But because there are 0, 62s, and 2, we must also consider the next digit. So then we consider 21. But because 21 is less than 62, and because there are 0, 62s, and 21, we must also include the next digit as well. So we begin by considering 211, and we need to determine how many 62s in 211. That may or may not be easy to do. One thing that might help would be to round 62 and 211 to the nearest 10 and consider that quotient, where 62 would round to 60 and 211 would round to 210. So we could use this quotient to help us determine how many 62s in 211. And because 3 times 60 equals 180, where we have a remainder of 30, but because there's three 60s in 210, it's reasonable to assume there would be three 62s in 211. So let's place a three in the quotient in the tens place value here above the one, and now let's multiply by the divisor. So three times two would be six, and three times six is 18. And now we subtract. If this difference is less than 62, the three is correct. If the difference is greater than or equal to 62, the 3 is incorrect, and we need to increase the 3. We need to perform an exchange here. 11 minus 6 is 5. 20 minus 18 is 2. So because the difference is 25, which is less than 62, the 3 is correct. And now we bring the next digit down. Now we need to consider how many 62s in 250. Again, that may or may not be an easy question to consider. Again, if we wanted to, we could round both values to the tens place value, which would give us 250 divided by 60. So again, if it's easier, we could use this to help us determine how many 62s in 250. We're here because 4 times 60 equals 240. We have a remainder of 10. Because there's 4 60s in 250, it's reasonable to assume there would be four 62s in 250 as well. Let's go ahead and try that. We'll place a four in the quotient in the ones place value, multiply by the divisor. Four times two is equal to eight, and four times six equals 24. And now we subtract. Notice how the difference is two, which is less than 62, so the four is correct. And we've used all the digits in the dividend, and therefore this last difference is our remainder. So 2,110 divided by 62 equals 34 with a remainder of 2. So because we have a remainder, 62 does not divide evenly into 2,110, and therefore 62 is not a factor of 2,110. Another connection we should make is that this problem also tells us the quotient of 34 times the divisor of 62 plus the remainder of 2 equals the dividend of 2,110. If we simplify the left side, 34 times 62 equals 2,108. 2,108 plus 2 does equal 2,110. I hope you found this helpful.